I'm Shakti. Welcome to 25th of October's College Blessing. How to be content and then how to make others content. The whole world is focused on making themselves content. But are we focused on making other people also content? Now it doesn't mean that you have to buy a lot of things, you have to gift a lot of things, you have to shower them with presents so as to make them content. No. We are talking about something else over here. That's what we want to explore in this beautiful, beautiful blessing. God says, may you become a contented idol and with the certificate of contentment receive the fortune of the throne of a future kingdom. Now imagine if the king himself is not content, how will he make his people, his complete kingdom content? If the king himself is complaining, I wish this person didn't do this, I wish that person had done like this, I wish he would come a little early, I wish he did not delay this work. Imagine what would be the state of the mind of the people who are in his kingdom. Now, similarly, if someone who is practicing of spirituality, a birth back and has got the habits of being content, making other people content, leading other people with contentment, guiding them, imagine that person, how would that person lead those same souls in the next birth? And wouldn't those souls like to be with this person in the next birth? Yes, there will be a communion of those souls in the next coming birth. And that's what we're talking about over here in Brahmakumaris. This confluence age, which is the end of the Kali Yuga, is, or the Iron Age, is leading to Sat Yuga, or the Golden Age. Now in this confluence age, as many souls as we can make them content by not complaining, by not questioning why, when, what, how, and being a solution finder instead of a complainer, then we'll be a leader and then we can be someone who can be like a king and who can guide other people. And other people would like to listen to those people as compared to someone who's always complaining. Isn't that so? So God says, I have to be content and make everyone else content. Keep this slogan constantly written on the board of your forehead. Now, there's no physical board over here. Whenever we imagine something in the darkness of our mind, we create a picture. And that is the board which God is talking about. Because those who have the certificate will claim the certificate of the fortune of a future kingdom. Daily at Amrit Villa, that means early in the morning, bring this slogan into your awareness. Just as you have slogans written on boards, on physical boards, some people have it on their walls. In the same way, constantly keep this slogan written on the board of your forehead. That means we should utilize a mind's eye which is looking onto a board, a non-physical board and create that slogan on a daily basis that I am a content soul and I have to make everybody else content. And you will make everyone become a content and idol. Those who are content are always happy. So obviously they are going to spread about happiness. They will not talk about why, when, what, where, how. And that's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. There are certain things which we learn about the drama, about whatever has happened in the was for the good, what is happening is for the good and what's going to happen in the future is going to be the, for the best. And there are certain laws which are governing these rules and there are certain conditions also which we learn in Brahma Kumari so that our life becomes like that. To learn more about it, do visit the Brahma Kumari Center. Om Shanti with us.